right, so what's good, beautiful people? Somebody literally just walked in on my set. I'm not going to talk about it, though. Oh, yeah. He's showing off his water right now. He got water, apparently. Pellegrino. Oh, he's excited. Anyways, um, what's good, beautiful people? It is the life of storm. Let me check that I am in frame. I can back up a little bit. I am in frame, whatever. Um, I took the notes, and now I have a mirror behind the guy. So, I can see myself. So, it just helps. But, for today, actually, I might walk up a little bit because I feel like my body all showing. For today, I'm actually going to be doing a grocery haul. I don't really know what I'm going to title it yet. But essentially, it's a, it's a couple of essentials that I get typically from Walmart or Kroger's because um, they're like really close to me. Those are the typical stores that I do go to and they're relatively cheap. So I do go to these stores. Um, these are the essentials that I get for now. They're not, it's not the full thing, but to make sure that I'm on track with losing weight. Um, these are basically just food items that I get. Um, I wanted to show you a specific set of pills that I do get as well, but I actually stopped using them just because, um, and I think I'm gonna make it a different video, but there's certain reasons why. So I'm gonna show you the bottle of it, um, of what I've been using, but also I'm gonna explain why I stopped using it later on. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get into it. As y'all can see, I have tons of things behind me. It's looking all crazy on the left and right of me. Um, so yeah, these are the things that I typically get just so I can stay on track and I'm gonna explain why um, I use these items and what this helps me with. Blah, blah, blah. So yeah, let's get into this video. get some lactose free milk now I don't believe that I am lactose intolerant um, I don't think I am just make sure I'm in frame back up a little bit um, I don't think that I am um, but I just typically like to have lactose free milk just because I don't really like the taste of almond milk or soy milk and stuff like that I don't really like the taste because it's kind of sweet um, I might try other things out, but I don't really like the taste of it, so I decided um, instead of having like whole fatty milk, blase blase, I just want to get lactose free milk, and it's actually pretty good. This one's actually whole milk. I don't typically get this one. My brother actually got this one, so we're not going to talk about it, but I typically get the like low fat one or stuff like that that's lactose free. Um, I also think that it helps me in some ways I don't know I just get this that's it no we're not gonna talk about it but yeah so that's number one we're gonna uh, put this back in the fridge uh, just because I don't want that to spoil so put that right back where the black next I think we're gonna go with all the items that can kind of spoil or would be nasty if they stay out we're gonna go with those first so next I tip oh, this thing got dents in it and junk. Um, and usually I use the lactose free milk either with cereal, oatmeal, or with like um, smoothies and stuff if I want it to be more of like a milky consistency rather than like just, you, you know what I mean, like a watery consistency. So this, this is the Great Value brand. Oh. I typically do like to get these. Um, there's another kind that I get as well. I do use, I do um, get great value. Yes, I do. Um, I would buy other ones, but it's like, what's the point? It tastes the same and it's literally low fat. These are great, great items to have either to put inside of your smoothie or to just eat by itself in the morning time. Um, quick things that tend to help me to be fuller. 
because um, before I started my weight loss journey, I was kind of just eating whatever, you know, like French toast sticks, all these other things in the morning time. And then I would feel that I was like depleted afterwards or feel like um, I just want to go sit down or something. But these help me to keep my energy up. Um, the Greek yogurt is actually the best one to get. Um, but mommy is coming in. I'm doing a video. Um, the Greek one is actually the best one to get just because um, Greek yogurt is typically the kind that has the lowest fat and also has, hold on, let me, let me stop the machine so you can get through. <laughs> so, the Greek yogurts typically are lower in fat, have less calories because this one has 120 and the other one has 140 calories even though it looks smaller um and it also has 12 grams of protein so these are typically the best ones to get although i don't really like the taste because it kind of tastes like cheese a little bit not gonna lie but it's actually all right um as long as you mix it up nice with the little cherries and stuff you'll be okay um and these are really good to put inside of protein i mean not protein inside of shakes so not shakes smoothies yeah so yeah um, since we're on the topic of smoothies, I'm going to grab those out. These items. They're typically, this is the long one. They're typically like to use in a smoothie. Um, I like to get greens in. Um, I like to get, of course, fruits, greens, some type of protein, a little bit, um, and maybe like chia seeds or something like that. I don't know where I put the chia seeds at, but um, just to have my nutrients and all these things in my smoothies. I like to do these in the morning time. Let me make sure I'm on camera. I like to do these in the morning time um, just to kickstart my day. Typically have a lot of energy throughout the day um, and it keeps me pretty full because I make a good size amount. Um, and it's typically kind of thick. So I make a pretty good size amount and it keeps me pretty full, man, for a, the majority of the day until I come back from maybe exercising and then I start to get hungry. I'm like, okay, I want a meal. But I like to get frozen spinach um, just because it's cold and it like cuts up nice. And it also is like really nutritious. It has 70 calories. Um, I typically put about a cup of this inside of my smoothies and it does not taste like it at all, but it helps me to get these greens in. Um, next, um, this one's actually from Publix, so I don't know why I grabbed this out, but just to show you guys, I typically like to get these little pouches out. Um, this one is from Walmart, so pouches of like frozen fruit just because these like you would think these would be cheaper but they're not cheaper they're actually kind of more expensive but it's just so that i don't have to put ice in it to water it down i could just have like cold fr cold fruit um and it's like different kinds of fruits so i don't know i don't have to like cut up a whole bunch of fruit um typically go for the mixed berries and then just get some of these kinds where it's like strawberry mango um, so I could just throw these into the smoothie, quick and easy, um, and then it gets you good. Next. Okay. Oh, I dropped that. I dropped that. Next, um, since we got these in, let me just put these back up right quick. So I typically like to go for frozen veggies as well. I do like to get fresh veggies too, like... Um, I like to get fresh spinach as well, but I typically use that for salads. Um, some kale. I didn't get it this time, but I'm, next time I go, I am going to get some. Some kale, spinach, like things like that. Even though this is a haul for that, but just to explain. Those things I like to make um, salads with. Uh, but when it comes to like dinner items, I like to get the frozen items or maybe sometimes fresh broccoli but typically like this just because it's quick easy 
um, you can make your meal, you can meal prep, which I'm, that's going to be another video. You could do anything like that in order to make sure that you just keep on track of your goals. That's the ultimate goal is just keep on track, make sure that you are eating the right things. Don't put too much emphasis on it though. Understand that you want to put healthy things inside of your body, but don't deprive yourself of other things that you like because it's it, ten, not 10 times, but I'd say probably half, five times out of 10. A lot of people who do these diets, who restrict themselves so much and throw away these other things, they're either very unhealthy or they revert back to what they did originally. And that's not what I want to do. I'm just saying. And there's a lot of people who can keep with it and, and restrict themselves and be perfectly fine. I understand that, but I'm not that perfect. Oh. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get my little flores and all these other things to make sure that I'm straight. But also, I'm going to get maybe a couple of snacks, which I'm going to show that as well. Just because I do crave snacks sometimes. I just didn't want to take it out because it is a frozen snack. So. Yeah, let's get to the next item. Next, this we already used, but it's salad. It's just a salad pack. Really easy uh, to make small little salads during the day, um, throughout lunch or something, something easy. That way you know that's the first thing that you're going to, you know? I like to have a lot of easy items. Um, some hard because you have to make good meals but nothing's really hard if you're in the kitchen you just cook but you know easy like grabbing meals because when you have things like that it, it makes it easier for you to be healthy it makes it easier for you to grab those items get your nutrients in and feel full you don't have to always eat a salad of course because salads can can like be boring after a while or not have as much nutrients in it but having that just will help you to keep on track so let's get to the next item as you guys know i like easy and i also like to have a good amount of protein because i'm really a person that does like meat so sorry to the vegans and vegetarians out there i do like meat um with i'm not gonna say every meal but almost every meal i typically do like that in the morning times not really sometimes during lunch i just eat like cheese or something like with my meals but typically like to have at least chicken inside of my diet but for breakfast time like i said sometimes i do not get my protein in and it's very good to have protein especially when you're trying to lose weight to build and also trying to build muscle and tone because that is my objective whilst I'm exercising during this time to lose weight is to lose weight but also gain muscle within my whole body my core my my um, legs and everything so I will I'm definitely gonna need protein um, this is definitely upside down but I got two packs of these um, brown and serve original cooked sausage links um this is the first time i'm actually getting this because typically i just eat a bagel or something but i really want to inc include um protein within my breakfast items so yeah i just bought this one just because it's, it was like the easiest to grab there's and i know that i do like how these taste like i'm a big taste person if I don't like how something tastes, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna want to eat it. I mean, that's that's for everybody, but it's just like I'm definitely not gonna eat it. Like even if it's good for me, it's just it's not good. So I do like how these taste, and I'm also a texture person. So if something tastes like even if it tastes good, but the texture is off, I'm not into that. Sorry, <laughs> but. This is pretty good. I'm also going to try to get different kinds and I'll show y'all throughout these months of like me trying out different food items. 
um if you guys have any any type of sausages or anything to recommend of course comment down below and anytime you can comment i'm gonna reply or i'm gonna look at it so it doesn't really matter um so yeah so this one is just a really good item to add into your breakfast items if you want to add more protein throw in some sausage throw in some turkey bacon i had turkey bacon a couple weeks ago we just finished that um so yeah turkey bacon is also a good alternative if you don't like sausage so yeah next you guys um i'm actually not like i told okay next like i said i'm actually not um the healthiest but i do try to stay on the healthy road typically like i said so i'm gonna go into my home style chicken fries so typically during lunch i i find it hard to figure out what i want to eat during lunch i typically just want to like eat <laughs> if i'm honest i just want to eat like moles or something maybe a taco or a burrito or a burrito bowl <laughs> literally but i can't keep on spending money of course you can't always keep on going out and spending money i could also cook these items but who wants to do all that for lunch like you could do that for dinner you know so um i just get these and i eat probably about i just make sure i look at the serving size and how many calories honestly of these type of items i don't do that for every item and i do not recommend you do that for every item because sometimes that helps that makes people feel stuck and that makes people calorie count and like really focus in on things like that and that can be unhealthy so just for these type of like unhealthy items you you know it's going to be fried and all these other things i do like to look at the serving size and it the serving size is typically the amount that i'm good with eating this is seven pieces and it's 230 calories which is not bad at all that's a perfect amount for lunch maybe i'll add maybe some sauce to the side some like a salad or i'll add some fries if i'm like really hungry um but yeah so this is just a good quick thing yes it's great value always great value no it's not always great value but it's good like quality for cheap prices so why not get it um yeah so i just got these for me and my family of course i'm not gonna eat all of these but yeah good for lunch time next we're gonna do two items at a time because i just don't want this video to be too long or too winded you know make me winded and have to stand here for so long and try to edit later but um typically they at walmart they have these big family size meals which you can choose to keep for yourself or choose to to like share with your family but these are always good um to me at least it's pretty seasoned i always like to add my own seasonings of course um but this one is just a family size oven roasted chicken with rosemary brown butter and potatoes i like to do these on my own as well like i cook potatoes pretty good and um chicken and broccoli but this was just a quick one because this week i know it's gonna be a little bit like hectic there is gonna be some work that's gonna have to be done and i'm just not gonna i'm just gonna be tired so um and i'm sure my mom is gonna be tired too so just throw these things in man um also with these even if you're not with the family it's still good to get these because you could also meal prep you could cook these splice them up however you want to splice them up you could look at the calories if you want to because sometimes these things no this one's actually pretty healthy it's only uh 140 calories per cup so this one's pretty healthy you could eat as much as you feel is good for you and spice it up however you feel like it um yeah so this is this one a quick meal oh that was loud 
And then the next quick meal I, I typically like to get is the Sam Club's pizza, is which is really good. I don't really get this one, which is pepperoni. I don't really get pepperoni like that. Um, I typically like to get the chicken and bacon ranch one. Delicious. Like, even my mom likes it, who... She don't she doesn't really like those type of things, but she likes it, so that's saying a lot. Um, but yeah, this time I just got this one. It has pepperoni made with pork, chicken, and beef, roasted tomatoes, topped with parmesan and romano cheese. So should be good. Um, it is also stuffed crust. This is another kind of thing that I do look at the serving. But I typically eat about one to two slices regardless. Um, if I'm not full, I'm going to eat a second slice. That's just what it is. So, yeah, this is another quick one that we might actually be making tonight. Just something to pop inside of the oven, eat, and you chilling out, you know? So these were just two quick meals. I typically like to have quick meals, like I said, meal prep or just eat you know things we also have meat and stuff just to mention because you also want to have healthy cooked meals like fully cooked meals we do have meat inside of the meat freezer i did not buy it and i also did not um not did not but i also do not typically cook the meats too much i i cook it sometimes but it's usually my mom who does it so I did not include this in that in this video, but it is what it is. We do eat those as well. Next item, of course, is plain bagels. I I typically like to get plain bagels. Um, when I want to have less calories during the morning time, because my favorite type of bagel is the um cinnamon raisin one but yeah um those are pretty much a good amount of calories so yeah i would go for these i go for this brand too y'all know i don't really do brands like that um i typically go for like great value items because i feel like it's the same but for these these are really really good i don't really care what kind of bagels but this is typically the one they have there um yeah so if y'all didn't know plain bagels are probably the best ones to get if you're gonna eat a bagel they just have less calories um so i don't feel like cutting this part it's just some cheese i like to get the block cheese um because honestly it tastes the best to me i don't like processed cheese anymore i used to eat processed cheese um but they just don't taste right anymore. After you eat a whole bunch of like blocked cheese or like even if you go to the deli and get your slices and stuff, it just don't taste right when it's processed. I'm sorry. Um. So yeah, got me some blocked cheese. My last item before I get into the um, hills that I was talking about is this clear water this is good for the people out there who want to replace their soda for the people out there who have a problem with like drinking water if it's not flavored or something like people like that this is very tasty and it is carbonated tastes just like it has the kickback just like a soda has the taste just like a soda but it's fully water, has zero calories per serving, um, but per container it is 10 calories. Okay. Um, like, barely anything. Tastes really good. It doesn't have any sugars, no calories per serving, zero caffeine and sodium, zero sodium per serve. You're good. And it tastes really good, honestly. For the people who don't like it, I understand you might not like the taste, like the taste of the flavor or whatever, but I guarantee you this does not taste like that, um, 
Y'all know what I'm talking about. It does not taste like the, um, like a tonic or, it don't taste like that. It just tastes like some soda for real, if I'm really being honest. Yeah. Some clear water, man. I'm telling y'all, get some of that. So guys, I actually forgot that I did say that I was going to show you guys the unhealthy stuff that I get sometimes. Um, this is one of them. This is peanut butter cup ice cream. Tastes just like Reese's Pieces ice cream. I like me some chocolate and ice cream. I'm just going to be honest. Um, this is the first time I actually got this um, in a while. So I have been doing kind of good. But my mom did have a, have a birthday cake, so just gonna be honest. Um, so yeah, so I do like to include certain snacks like this. I don't eat too much of it, of course. It's still pretty much full. I just like to have my little snack at nighttime. It's okay to do that, guys. It's perfectly fine. Just don't overdose on it. Getting crazy or binge eating, you'll be fine. Okay, so now let's get into these um pills is called Irwin Natural Super Citrus Lipo Burner Store Fat Belly Burner. And when I tell you guys this does work, at least for me, I'm not gonna say everybody is gonna work for. It. This has worked to kickstart my like weight loss on my stomach and just weight loss in general as soon as i started taking these i was losing weight not now understand you don't just take these lay down chill you know eat whatever and think you're gonna lose weight it might work i'm not sure but for me i was exercising eating right for the most part and this was killing the game if i'm really being honest it helped me to have it has caffeine in it so it helped me to have tons of energy when i went to the gym to exercise come back and make sure i eat right because um it would kind of upset your stomach if you start eating greasy things but that's what any type of weight loss thing um these did help me and this i did get from walmart and i also got these from um what's it called cbs make sure you guys do your research first though i looked this up i did my research on several different items that i wanted to choose but i felt like this one would be the best one for me and it actually did work for me um also consult with your doctor if you if that's something that you feel like you need to do before you even try to take anything like this um just to make sure that you're okay or you would be okay while taking these kinds of items um and also when you for these things i don't even feel like doing a real another video these will keep you up at night now some people it doesn't happen some people it does these for me did keep me up at night um i had to stop taking these um just because i wasn't getting enough sleep and i feel like that was detrimental to me um and my health because i do sometimes i do 12 hour thing like gigs with films and stuff like that and i can't be staying up at night it just is not good for me so these are good, but make sure if you have long days and you know you're going to be working hard, um, it'll keep you up and it'll help you during those days. But when you go to sleep or when you lay down, understand that you might be up at night and then you want to be tired during the day, but it'll give you another kickstart, which is also unhealthy because you're on like a cycle of no sleep, basically. Thank you guys, everybody, for watching. Thank you for watching this video. This was... Oh, let me start over. Thank you guys for watching. This was my essential hauls from Walmart. 
I don't know what I'm going to title it yet, but yeah. This was my video just to explain what I typically eat in a day and what I like to buy from the store. Um, if you guys would like any other content, um, any other videos, make sure you guys comment down below, like, and subscribe um, for more content. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thank <laughs> you.